Hi everybody. Okay, so this is a, another project. Um, I struggle a bit, but I managed to get it going. It's pressing the button and taking pictures, practically. That's all it is. Okay, so here we have the cards. Let's clear out. And when I take, when I press the button, if you look at this, I press the button, zap, take a picture, and it says, button press, capture the image, and save a file to, you know, this is 428470, JPEG, image capture successfully. Okay, so that's the way it works. A bit of explanation, okay. I'm not going to explain, you know, the, the my connection. I'm using. Uh, I don't. I don't use an FTD. I use uh, um, an MCU. A Node MCU, okay. And and I use it as a, as a power up the camera. And using this pin here. The EN is grounded with ground, and so all these pins are no frequent. I have no frequency to affect the performance of the camera. I can only use the power, as I said, in the ground. That's it. All the pins have been blocked off. All right. So, but it works as a. It's more stable for me. Um, it works as a. As a as a USB because the camera hasn't got a USB connection so that's the only way so I have to bring the power of 5 volt from here to the camera and I have to bring the ground to the camera which is the ground it's it's the okay from here okay so to <coughs> see so practically uh, once you start you have to you have to move this one which is connected to it's a ground to um, ground to GPIO zero you remove you move it out and you and you reset it the reset button is at the bottom and that's what it does once you reset it It will tell you um, camera initialized successfully, SD card initialized successfully. So now I'm taking it out and I'm pressing the button. Button press, capture images, save file to photo, whatever, and it's on the card. So now if you take this card out and you put it on a card holder, you put it on the computer, you can look at the picture. I can do that now just to show you quickly all right let me see All right, there it is. And we can go and see the pics. I took quite a few pics. So, I mean, I must delete them. It's taking space here. So let's have a look at which number was this picture. It was uh, 23928. 23928. So... Man, two three nine two eight.
23928. Can you see? This is a picture. It's a bit darker because I got the curtain. I got the sun right in my face. So I don't want too much light. It wouldn't work. But otherwise, you know, some of these pictures are not bad. You know? So you get different type of picture. Depends. I can put it out of the window. And if you make it bigger, I think I shouldn't. Okay, let's put it off of it. This is too slow. Okay, so you can see how the, the camera takes a picture the way it works. It's not that difficult. Okay, the picture can be a good quality if you got uh, sunlight. You know, otherwise it's... Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll put it off. Maybe open it again. All right, so now I'm going to remove the card again and let's put it back. There we are. Clear the serial monitor and press once. Oh, sorry. Now, when you look at this, so what happened now, you have to, because I moved the card, I'll have to reset it. Set. So now it's been reset. Okay, let's have a look. Yes, camera successful, everything is there. SD card successful, clear, and now press the button. There we are, another picture, 183333 has been taken. Okay, so if you go back, you can see that when I press this button, the, the light flashes. Okay, so there we are, and um, the pin numbers and everything it's on uh, it's going to be on the website, and this is our initializer. You have the SP uh, uh, camera dot H. You need this one for the camera. You can also um, use you know, like a time clock, like a, and pick it up from NTP and you use your your Wi-Fi. There's a lot of things you can do. You can, uh, this is a driver RTC. In case that you need, uh, most of these pin are RTC except the one that I'm using at the moment. So, um, I haven't been able to program RTC because you can program RTC, some people can, I haven't been able to. So in order to program the RTC, you can use other GPIO, but I use GPIO uh, 16, which is not in use by the card or the camera, which is, it's clear in a way, but it does not need the RTC because GPIO 16 is not an RTC GPIO, okay? The RTC, all the rest are, and if you can time it correctly with the RTC, you probably will be able to use some of these um, PIN, uh, not PIN, uh, GPIO. And also you can use a transistors with a couple of resistors. Uh, maybe a, a, a transistor with uh, a two resistor, 1K and 10K. And you should be able, using the collector, the emitter in the base, Usually the emitter, you ground it, the collector, the base, you put it on the, uh, with the resistor to the, to the pin uh, signal and the ground and the other, the collector it goes to the, to the pin 
to, sorry, I'll have to sort this one out because I don't have it in front of me. But let me see, it goes like this. You, you should have a transistor connector, the base connected to the, to the, um, sorry, the base connector via 1K connected to the signal of the press button. And then you have the uh, collector uh, of the transistor goes to the ground. And then the emitter uh, with uh, 10K goes to pin 16. You could do that. In my case, I can't use pin 16 because it's got no RTC. So, but, you know, there is a lot of way of programming it. I haven't been successful i've been successful with this simple um code which worked beautifully okay so let's give it another try press the button the large flash and let's go and see it and there we are it's the last one here press capture image this is the image and name Let's clear again, press the button. There we are, it's another picture. Okay, guys, I hope you like it. Um, I will put all the information on the, on, the, uh, on the YouTube channel, and you can take it out from there. Thank you, have a good day.